So let's take a minute here and just talk about some of the basics of data management and revision management. And we're going to use some traditional terms here. We're going to use the terms vault and local working area. You're going to start out by saving files on your local computer and then checking those files into a vault where they're going to be revision managed. Now in the case of data management in the cloud, the vault is going to be hosted on an app called 3D Space. The local cache or local working area is going to be hosted in your C drive in a directory that was automatically created called 3D Experience and in a subdirectory called My Work. Let's start out by taking a look at the vault. What I've done here is I've created a dashboard called 3D Drive and 3D Space. I think this is a great dashboard for everyone to create. And if you don't have one yet, I highly encourage you to create one. The first tab is called 3D Drive. This is where I access all my online storage. The second tab here is called 3D Space. This is where my vault or vaults are going to be hosted. Now 3D Space facilitates a lot more than just data management for our SOLIDWORKS files. For example, we use 3D Space to store all of the files we create in XDesign and XShape. But for today's conversation, we're gonna say that this is where our vault is located. In fact, we're gonna take it one step further and say that each one of these collaborative spaces represents its own vault. In order to illustrate this, I'm going to create a new collaborative space for this wooden box project. I'll simply call it new wooden box. So we can see that a new collaborative space has been created in my 3D space called new wooden box. This is going to be the vault that we're working from when utilizing data management in the cloud. As you can see on my screen, you can establish multiple vaults, maybe one for each project, one for each company you're working with, or if you prefer, you could just have one single collaborative space that everyone works from. In today's example, we're going to create a vault specific to this project called New Wooden Box. Now that we understand how the vault part of the equation works, let's talk a little bit about our local working area. As I mentioned earlier, the default location for your local working area is C, 3D Experience My Work. This is great if you already know that that's where you're supposed to be working from. Anytime you save files, you should save them into this location. Anytime you open files, you should be opening them from this location. Data management in the cloud knows to look to this location to examine and compare files to those files in the vault. But what if you didn't know this ahead of time? For example, our new wooden box project files have been stored in our S drive in a directory called old SOLIDWORKS storage. This is not the appropriate local working area for utilizing data management in the cloud. How is 3D Experience going to respond when we attempt to use these files from the incorrect directory? Well, we're going to take a look at that in an upcoming video. But for now, I hope that it's very clear that when working with data management in the cloud, your vault is going to be found on 3D space. You're going to establish a collaborative space to act as your file storage in the cloud. Your local working area is going to exist in a directory that's automatically created and called C 3D Experience My Work. This location will be created when you install the add-in for data management in the cloud. Let's get into the next video and take a look at what the check-in process looks like.